hey guys it's Trey back again with another video and in today's video I want to continue on from a video that I uh, did last time and in the last video I showed you guys how you can pull um, information from a MySQL database into um, your Express project and use that in an, a REST request here so basically we're just pulling everything from this test table that we created in the last video um, if you want to catch up you can go ahead and watch that video and once you finish it up uh, you'll be where we are now so in today's video I want to show you guys um, how we can remove this plain text password from our source file here so when we commit this into git or whatever source control you're using you will see that we have the actual password in plain text anybody can just read it and we don't want that we want to take this and um, put it away um, I'm gonna put it in an environment variable and that way we can just reference the variable here and not the actual password and I'm also gonna just gonna throw all the rest of these in there just just because so the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to install a package called .env. So I'm going to go down here to our console, let me pick up, bring it up a little bit, and we're going to type in npm i s, and we're going to say .env. All right, so that will install the .env package, and this is what we're going to use to actually hide this password. Okay, so up here we're going to create a new file we're going to call it dot env right? and inside of here is where we declare all of those properties pretty much all right so we need a host a database a user and a password so I'm going to do that I'm actually going to pull this off to the side over here and I'm leave this up so I can uh, write it in so we're going to do a host I'm going to set that equal to localhost and then we're going to do a database set that equal to SQL test DB then we need a user and we're going to set that equal to SQL tester and we also need a password and we're going to set that equal to my secret one all right and we'll save that file so basically, as you can see, we have pretty much these same things here. We just move them over into this file, this .env file. All right, once we do that, we're done with the .env file. You can close that out. Now we need to go ahead and replace these values. So the first thing we need to do is import the .env package. So we're going to say require, then we're going to say .env, then we're going to do .config, all right? I'm going to save that and now this will allow us to use this .env file here. So now we just need to replace these values. So the way we do this is we say process.env and then we do dot and then the name of your environment variable. So if we go in here we see we have host for this first one. So we're going to use that here. So we're going to say dot host. All right. And that will pull this localhost value into this file here where we specified it at all right then we're going to do the same for these other three all right so now that we have that we can go ahead and run this and it'll work but one thing i want to do before we do that um and you're not going to do this in in like production or really anywhere but i just want to to you that it's actually pulling that information so I'm gonna um, copy that out of there underneath app I'm going to set up another variable here that's gonna hold that information so basically I just took the object out of the create pool function and separated it out here so we can print it out so I'm gonna say console dot log and then I'll just say options and then we'll pass in the options and put s on that all right and then we'll also pass the options into the create pool function. So the only reason I pulled it out was so that we can log it out. 
and once we actually see that I'm gonna actually take this and put it back inside of here alright so let's go ahead and run this and make sure that it works alright and as you can see we're printing out options here and we see it popping up here so we see options and then we see our host with the actual local host and see these are actually pulling in the real values and that's what we're passing in to the create pool all right so I'm gonna stop this and set it back to how we want it so I'm gonna take this object copy it out of there get rid of this options also replace it back here and save all right so now let's uh, run this again and actually try to make sure that we can still get our value from our browser all right so I just started it back up come back here we're gonna go to localhost 3000 and as we can see we're still pulling this information in so that's pretty much it for this video I just wanted to show you guys how to get those those um, sensitive values out of your source code so that when you push this information to Git or whatever source control you're using you won't have the plain text password in your file so um, one other thing I want to show you is because we don't want to push this to our repository either because it has the plain text password in it so we want to keep this um, out of our pushes along with this node modules if you don't know why we don't want the node modules you can go check that out um, somewhere else I'm pretty sure there's a lot of explanations on why you do not want that node modules uh, folder to be pushed to your repository alright so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create this file called git ignore the git ignore file is going to help um, make sure we don't push this information to our repository so what we're gonna do is we're gonna type dot git ignore so the file name will be dot git ignore and then we'll just type in node modules and underneath there we'll type in dot env and hit the save so now if I come down here to our terminal and I type in git status we see that dot env and node modules is not showing up here so now if we were to commit this we could um, we wouldn't see that so we're gonna say git add dot git status alright so we see that we added our dot git ignore in our server js file and then we'll say git commit dash m add it dot env and now that I push that we'll see git status that everything is good so we didn't push this these are not included in our repo so when we push this up to our remote repo these will not be going alright um, and that's pretty much it for this one um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that so you guys wouldn't be having plain text passwords all in your source code. Um, that's pretty much it for this one. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel and all that jazz. And I will see you guys in the next video.